your guts wouldn't even help if you were stuck in some guy's basement and he was getting ready to chop you up and I hate your face wouldn't even help you if he chased you down Belmont Ave and threw your body in his fireplace I get high off the thought of you on fire I don't know why but it's Special kind of stupid You can't see all that you room And I hate your brain If you even got one, it's such a shame You're gonna make a great filet On a tray at the murderer's buffet And I hate everything you say You're such an asshole, were you born that way? I don't know how you made it to this age But now you're up in flames I get Special kind of stupid You can't see all that you ruined And I hate your guts wouldn't even help if you were stuck in some guy's basement And he was getting ready to chop you up I get high 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 off the thought Hey guys, Sarah with Chicago Music Exchange. I'm here today with Deanna Bellows of Sincere Engineer. Hello. Deanna, <laughs> thanks up? for being here. <laughs> thanks for having me. <laughs> Absolutely, we're glad you're here. Um, I know you played an acoustic set for us today. Yep. When it comes from transitioning to um, from your songs into an acoustic format, are there a lot of changes you have to go through? Or is there a lot of thought involved? Or is it pretty? Um, it's pretty like straightforward. I actually write like all the songs on acoustic first, so it's sort of the more like a uh, original sound that it was when it was being written um and uh since all the songs exist like that it's almost like it's more work to put it into a full band thing if that that's kind of cool so you're just yeah. sort of like going back to the genesis right, yeah. of it and anyway like, playing have, acoustic yeah exactly i have to like remember what i did before we like changed it for like full band format so that's excellent but yeah awesome. <laughs> um in that same vein is there anything else that you could share with us about your songwriting process and kind of how that works for you um it's just like a kind of like vomiting on paper and then i can usually i usually write in like batches so like you know like vomit and then pick out like three or four um sort of themes and like go from there um and then and then i won't write anything for three months <laughs> and that's then that'll cool. happen again i love that <laughs> that's throw it all been. up get it out exactly see what's good yeah Excellent. piece everything together can we move in together can we get a I'm just so alone and I need a new box spring Can we carve our initials in the blue vinyl siding? I think once I get that I won't need another goddamn thing Can we move in together? I can be your California queen Cause I'm just grown and lonely Don't really Somewhere to run to and you got me smiling I think once I get that I won't need another goddamn thing Maybe everything around me is too slow Maybe in the city I've been feeling so alone Lately I've been thinking about Chicago 
shit to bring New padlocks on the door, a new key for my key ring I think once I get that I won't need another goddamn Shining through the window on this Sunday afternoon The sunspots on your shoulders We're just dancing with the moon And our broken crowns hit the pillow I wanna move in with you Somewhere to get older where We can dance under the moon Is there any one piece of gear that you feel is crucial to the sincere engineer sound or anything that stands out for you there? Um, oh, we like we use Reverend guitars. They're, they've been very nice to us. And uh, I love, I have a Reverend Double Agent OG and then the, uh, the Flat Rock and I love them both a lot. Um, sure microphones, um, <laughs> stuff like that. Uh, we have a Reverend okay. bass also, um, so. I know y'all have a new LP coming out yep. late September yep. called Cheap Grills. Yep. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Um, very excited about it. Mike Sapone produced it. Um, we recorded it at a like church cemetery in um, <gasps> Massachusetts. It was Ooh. creepy and super fun. Um, it's like a uh, like you know pretty straightforward punk, but it's got like you know some twang and like we're very excited about it i don't know that's excellent no i'm stoked I, all the songs i played on here are gonna be on it full band obviously so i feel like you guys are kind of good at puns too is there somebody that comes up with those Cheap um, girls is pretty i, I came great. up with it the the cover is my dad in the 80s i saw that picture and i was like that's it and then i uh the name came later but it's i perfect. had to use that picture so. love it <laughs> myself off I don't know anybody here I feel out of place but you're just my type I don't know what to say I'm a walking open world don't make any sudden moves I'm a walking open world it's a pleasure to meet you I'm a walking Try to talk to you, but above my head I'm seeing stars again. I pull up, we're at this party, you're already drunk, it's clear. I feel out of place everywhere I go, I don't know what to say. I'm a walking open world, don't make any sudden Such an ass. 
artists that have influenced you the most or anybody that you kind of look to for inspiration whether that was when you were getting started or still sure. today um i'm like really uh i grew up like listening to like classic rock like uh the eagles and tom petty and stuff so i think that like um the more i like have uh, more like songs i write the more like i feel like that comes out a little bit um but uh, like the chicago 90s punk scene is also really important and influential to me um like the fireside punk bands um so that makes sense the alkaline like, trio yeah. lawrence arms exactly makes total or, sense. yeah and all the all the bands that they all like like to like apocalypse hoboken and oblivion i've been like diving into all that stuff too they're all chicago bands have you checked out um naked ray gun yet? of course yeah, yeah. totally all totally the, yeah and peg boy excellent for sure love it <laughs> is there anything we didn't cover today or any stories you want to share yeah. um i don't think so I, uh i don't know we're uh, we're playing Lala next week. Yeah, which is exciting. Is there anything you're most looking forward to about that, Lala? I feel like uh, it's not peeing wild. my pants <laughs> is, is the main concern. Uh, yeah, no, we're, we have to play like or we have an hour set, which I don't think we've done yet. So oh, like playing for an hour straight <laughs> yeah, for the yeah. first time ever. Yeah, totally. Wow. Um, I, uh, we have band practice like after I leave here, so I'm gonna. <laughs> How does that work when you go to putting a set together? Like, do you consider sort of the venue and who you're playing to for sure yeah. yeah we kind of work as a group but my drummer sort of controls the, the basic idea he's the one that keeps track of time and stuff like when we play and like if we have to cut a song he gives us a sign so awesome. he, he takes a lot of the responsibility of that so excellent I'm well, just like whatever <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to be able to like take the backseat just yeah for sure I'm just like whatever we're like, playing with that. exactly excellent well yeah. thank you for coming in today of course so thank you so much to for have you <laughs> yeah I blew the dust off the cover of the tales of this colossal failure This sunken ship and tired sailor The loneliest man on the side of the lake I thought you were coming but I was too late I was too late And this sea is my home, I wanna go home I got homesickness, this drama me toast gets
sometimes it goes away Sometimes it overtakes me And sometimes I don't feel anything And sometimes I contemplate The thought of a crash landing I'm a castaway who needs a break I'm the last misunderstanding my heart